Hey, hi, Peter. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Is it better? Hey, yeah, I can hear you now. Uh, are you saying something? I can't hear you now. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, yeah, I can, I could hear you now. But uh, I guess now you're on mute. So no one else is going to join.
Uh, no, Peter, I think you are on mute. It shows you are on mute. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah. Can you hear me? I cannot hear you. Oh. I can hear you, Sandeep. Oh, okay. Peter, can you, can you hear any of us? Like, Hey, can you hear me? Can you say something? Hey, I can yeah, hear you. Can... Yeah. Oh, I can hear you now too. I don't know what that okay. was. Okay. Okay. Are we waiting for anyone else? Do you know if Rama is coming or have you have you heard of from this guru? Rama might join late so we can start, he said. Okay. Yeah. 
Welcome everyone to the Hyperledger Cacti Maintainers Meeting. Please abide by the antitrust policy that we have that I'm showing on the screen. And also by the Hyperledger Code of Conduct, which you can find linked to on the agenda document. And then the first item for me is that I propose that we move the meeting an hour and a half later because I've started to get conflicts with the 8 p.m. time, my time. So if you open this link that is in the agenda document that I also just put on the chat, you can see what that would look like in different time zones. And then I'll update the calendar invite for next week, and then we can discuss if it works for everyone or not. Okay. And second one, CI performance. Jack Preet is not here, but I know that he's made some headway with running only specific packages that are uh, that have either source code change or a dependency of them had source code change, so that we can only we can run only the tests for the TypeScript packages that are actually necessary in a, in a way that is guaranteed to not cause issues where we miss a bug just because some test that was affected did not get executed. Uh, mm -hmm. And then the other thing is that Rye gave us some numbers on how much the CI is costing on the paid plan where they put us for the increased performance and it was insane. It was like $150 per pull request on average, which is completely unacceptable, high cost. So I just told him to put us back on the free plan and then we fast tracked that pull request that made this happen because otherwise the foundation would have gotten charged thousands of dollars more potentially by the time we get the change through the usual review process. And then okay. the other thing that I was looking into, but not done with it yet, unfortunately, is the mono repo publishing for the Go packages. I created a sort of a playground for that mm -hmm. in my personal GitHub account. I forgot what the name of it was. Give me one second. It was something, yeah, go mono repo test. Um, yeah, so this is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. And I have some tags here, which are just uh, releasing, you know, the ABC packages with certain tags. And I haven't gotten to the point yet where it actually works that they all get released at the same time. But okay. it would, I was going through the forums and what people are doing to make this happen. And then they claim that it's possible. You have to just do the go mode tidy after setting the version to a specific commit. And you could, in theory, this is all theory, you could put that commit hash into the dependency uh, declaration before you actually merge that exact commit to the main branch. And the thing we need for this is just mm -hmm. to guarantee that the commit that you cut the release with locally on your machine is the same commit hash that will end up on the main branch. 
So in theory, if we can do that, then it will just work, quote unquote, if the hash is match. And uh, this is what I found on the internet, but I want to actually have a working proof of concept with this test repo before I suggest that we actually do that in the official repository for Cacti because okay. if there's any sort of side effect with it that I just didn't glean from the forum post that I was reading, then I want to figure that out here instead of just making a big mess out of the, the release process for Cacti. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'll put a link to the chat about this as well. Yeah. And what else? Oh yeah, so this is all I had. These are my updates. So uh, ab about this, you're saying that uh, if we make the dependency as a commit hash uh, in the Go module, but but that commit will be the one commit before the release commit, right? Because we'll have to make that change in the release commit. Uh. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, wait, that may not work. <laughs> because you would need, yeah, but the moment you modify the dependency declaration with the commit hash, you will have to amend your commit, but then you will have to, hmm. Yeah, the only way, still possible, but you will have to alter mm -hmm. some of the commit attributes that go into the commit hash. So, for example, if you amend, if you did a commit amend that way, then the commit hash would change again because the commit hash includes the timestamp of when you're committing. Mm -hmm. And so the, the way to do that then is to amend also the commit time, which would mean commit amend time of commit. Yeah, so you have to manually do something like this instead of letting it default to whatever is the current timestamp. And I okay. think that way you can make this magic happen when you have a commit that has its own hash in its own diff referencing itself. And if you push mm -hmm. that to a branch, then it actually is supposed to work in the sense that Go should just be able to look at it and say, oh, this is the commit hash I want. Is that on the remote? It is. So cool. Then I'm downloading it. This is all very like... Uh, One more say... thing. Um, mm -hmm. the, the commit needs to be on the main for this to work. So you need to amend the commit on the main. They said it does not have to be on the main. It could it be isn't? on the release branch. Allegedly. Okay. That's what they wrote on the forum. Okay. The release branch would have to be on the official repo, but that is already yeah. how we do it. <laughs> if you... If you look at the branches, we have branches for the releases. And these okay. branches do get pushed before the pull request itself of the mm -hmm. release. Because this is actually what we cut the release from. Okay. 
So there's a lot of ifs here. I know that. Basically, there's so many conditions and exotic get features and whatever else that you know there's an 80 percent chance that this just won't work but i want i do want to try because that yeah, would we be can the best try. if you could make it work yeah and then if it doesn't at least we can document why it doesn't work and then we just go with some more complicated process where the release is not a single pull request but it's just a bunch of pull requests where you basically you need a pull request for each go module right that's like the plan b yeah yeah so i'm trying to avoid that because i think that's just bad because mm -hmm. then we cannot point at a single commit saying that is the xyz release and it just becomes yeah. a little confusing and it's more complicated because now you have a bunch of pull requests to send you're just slowing down the CI. Yeah. So yeah. hopefully this this thing that they claim works will actually work. If if not, then it is what it is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I had. Anyone else with any other discussion topics? Nothing from my side. Okay. Then uh, thanks everyone for joining and I'll talk to you next time. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.